time as well. So whether you're catching me on Instagram or uh, Facebook Live on my Robin's Healing personal page, um, I've never done both screens, but I figured why not? That way pe more people can ask questions, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to attempt to stand up my phone here. As you guys know me, I just come on randomly. And I just want to make sure that I can see people's comments. So feel free to say hello if you're hopping on. And so what Theta Healing is, we're going to do some Theta Healing downloads for people. If you have a specific um, issue, fear, limiting belief, it could be a skin issue, it could be a digestive issue, um, anything to do with chronic illness is kind of coming up. Um, for me, lately, there's been a lot of throat chakra energy around me and I think a lot of other people, okay? So I just wanted to explain a bit more of how a Theta Healing download works because if you want to explore my um, YouTube channel underneath Theta Healing, you're going to get specific downloads as well when I do readings and I say with Theta Healing, it kind of makes more sense as to what it is. So again, if you're hopping on, say hello and let me know if you would like a download and if you have something specific you'd like to work on, we can do that for you. Otherwise, I can just kind of do a little um, energy scan and see what you have going on, okay? If nobody says that they want one, which I highly recommend doing just because this is free, um, then I would suggest a, it's a great time to get free healing. Otherwise, you can get the general downloads for what I feel the, the group needs, okay? Either one is perfectly fine. So Theta Healing is something that I learned, I'd say like a few years ago now. Something I am being called into eventually teaching other people. Um, I might even feel like I'm going to add this into some of my um, coaching programs, things like that. But for now, I offer this as a service under robinshealing.com, okay? Um, but I would recommend to just take advantage of the free downloads that I have, the digital programs that I have underneath programs as well um, online so that you can start getting and receiving some of these benefits. Good morning, Anne. So again, if you would like a download, I can help you specifically. And so Theta Healing is all about our fears, which I think everybody has fears and it's super important to work on. And then, so I'm over on Instagram as well. Um, and the other thing too, is we work on basically blocks. So if you know anything about Reiki and that sort of thing, often when we're doing Reiki healing or clearing, we'll get a, a block in our chakra. We all have them, we are not perfect. Um, so these are things when you feel like overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, etc. okay? So it says I would love a download, but I don't see you on here. So just let me know if you are still on here, Anne, and I'll do that for you. Um, so yeah, see, even if you feel like a heaviness in your chest, which is what I'm picking up right away. So that being said, limiting beliefs are things that you might have picked up from your parent, your grandparent, ge any type of like genetics history, okay? This is what I find fascinating about Theta Healing is that... Um, we will often realize that it's not even our belief. It's something that we kind of picked up along the way. And I find people feel so much better when they get Theta Healing because they start to realize, oh my gosh, I've been putting so much weight on something that didn't even belong to me. Yes, I am. Thanks. Okay, Anne. So um, let's go straight into a download. So th that's just an example, okay? We were just talking about genetics. And then I'll go back to different ways that we can pick up energy. But I want to show you how I how I specifically do clearings because every Theta Healer is completely different. So although we have structure in how we are supposed to do things, if you know anything about me, Robin, I always do things my, my own way because I, I listen to what feels right. And that's another benefit of working with me is you sometimes you don't need to tell me what you have going on if you're the type of person who just doesn't um, want to go into great detail, I can just kind of go into your energy with permission and I already kind of know, all right? And uh, that's that's pretty important, I think, when you're looking for practitioners that they're very intuitive because uh, it makes things so much easier for you guys as the client, okay? So I'm going to ground it. I'm going to get and you to ground specifically, okay? It's super important that we're, when we are working on ourselves that we're not like on our phone 
or like you're not distracted right now so you're not trying to like cook supper it's okay if you are but if you want to get the best quality healing you should be as present as you possibly can when I was teaching my Reiki 4 level yesterday, we talked about that. It's great for us to have sacred space when we're giving healing, that sort of thing, right? For you to smudge your space, things like that. If you're looking for sage or any smudge spray, things like that, I sell those on Robin's Healing Herbs as well, Facebook. But there's lots of visualization techniques that we can do, things like that. So as a practitioner, we learn all about this in our training and all the different tools. But for the person receiving, this is probably coming up for you, Anne. It's really important that you're getting the respect that you deserve as well from your clients or from, from the receiver, whether it's family or friends, that sort of thing. If they are thinking about something else while, while you're helping them, that's not really fair, is it? So we want to teach people how to kind of breathe, how to work more with crystals, how to take more time for themselves and how to take, take better care of themselves so that as they continue to grow and continue to get sessions, it happens that much more quickly for them. They're able to manifest energy just like, like that, right? So I'm a very quick manifester because I've been working on this for a long time. So it's like, yep, this is happening. Um, but that takes practice, okay? So keep that in mind. You want to be really mindful of your thought process when you're in the receiving energy because Again, don't be distracted, okay? So do do some grounding, do some meditation when you guys watch these videos if you are going to receive any of the downloads, all right? So uh, drinking water is exceptionally important as well during and after your sessions, okay? Because when we are moving and shifting energy, a lot of times, and this is where there's a lot of science to this, you can look it up more, but often we're moving and shifting like our, our cells and um, our meridian lines, essentially energy in our physical body. Yes, energy around us and the people around us, but a lot of things in our organs, and that's why I'm feeling called to physical health today as well. Because I don't think people realize that they can change or that they can heal those um, types of illnesses that they think, you know, they can't cure, that sort of thing. So I'm not claiming that I can cure or heal people, but I can assist you in helping yourself. So if you say yes to any of these downloads, that's you saying that basically you would like to receive an energy shift. So drinking water, taking um, salt baths. So again, on Robin's Healing Herbs, you can see I have detox salt baths, I have soaks, things like that. And everything that I make is there to assist you in your healing journey. So if you're drinking things like coffee, that might make your nervous system overstimulated. So what we want to do when we're receiving is calm the nervous system. And if you watch my astrological, or not my astrological sign reading, my general monthly reading for August, this makes more sense as well, okay? So Anne, you're grounded, right? You got the lecture. And I am as well. So my main focus right now, other people can receive this energy because it's it's going to help everybody. But you can say no to this as well. You, It's up to you. This is where you are a human. You get to make choices. But Anne, in sp specifically, she just wants a download. She didn't say anything about what, what kind. So I'm going to just read her energy with her permission. So we're just going into Anne's energy. And right away I get the heart, okay? Heart chakra specifically. And when I think about the heart chakra, and this is where, and you can participate if you want, um, what is it that you are that you might feel like you have going on in your heart chakra right now? Is there anything um, that's bothering you? Are you feeling like you need to work on? Because the other thing we can do with Theta Healing is we can actually manifest and attract things. So we're releasing something and we're replacing it with something positive. But we can also just spend our time on um, just attracting things into our life. So I've taken multiple uh, courses for Theta Healing, so there's a lot of different types, okay? So it can, you don't have to like pull a bunch of negative past stuff or past life. You can just specifically go into, you know what, I wanna make $100,000 and start working towards that, which I, that's why I like Theta Healing personally. 
because it helps body, mind, spirit. So, and if you don't know what you have going, okay, yes, relationship, okay. So this is where we could go as deep as we want to, but we're gonna go into a relationship. And is there anything specific that you would like to clear in relation to your relationship, or you can go into a, attracting as well, or both, okay? So this is where typically we have a, a, an interaction we're not typing. Um, the other thing too is if somebody's not comfortable on video, I do phone calls as well as emails. So um, we can access in, in different ways through writing as well. But with Theta Healing, I do think it's best to have that proper exchange. So is there anything in particular about your relationship? Better communication. Okay, that makes sense. So just want to share, guys. In general, we are all going through throat and heart stuff. If you're watching any of my dailies on Instagram, things like that, this is going to make sense. Um, so better communication. So that means there's some type of lack, right? Um, it doesn't mean that you are lacking. It means that you believe you are lacking, right? Because you, if you want something more of something, that's telling me that you're not happy with it, right? You're dissatisfied. And so you're saying, I'm not happy with my, I'm going to assume intimate relationship could be um, your friendships, because often if we're lacking, say, in our sex life or something like that, this can af affect our business relationships as well. And often people don't associate sex and money and business and things like that. But you have to be, you don't have to be, we're never perfect, right? But a big thing is people don't realize that it's all of your relationships. So business relationships, intimate relationships. So if you're not happy in your love life, you're like, oh, I just want to be with somebody. I feel lonely, that sort of thing. So this isn't necessarily related to Anne, but there's someone else watching. I think that, you know, you might be trying to attract the soulmate. And that means that there's might be something going on within your within your heart as well, where it's kind of like, well, you're not fully content with like you might need need to work on self-love. OK, so this is still all related to Anne that way. Hello to whoever's watching on um, Instagram. So if you have um, something in particular you'd like to clear, let me know we're doing some Theta Healing. So I'm going to get you to put your hands up to your heart, Anne. And would you like to clear and let go any fears that you might have around people judging you? Okay. And let's replace that with trusting and having faith that everything will work out in divine timing. Okay, and if so, this is where you guys just have to say yes. So I prefer you to write it because that's you actually putting it out to the universe. If you can speak it out loud, that's even better. And if you need to say it in your head, you are still agreeing to it from an energy standpoint. Okay, so now I go into dream state, which is a theta brainwave. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask to release that for you. And then I'm going to see where the layers come up. Okay. And this is where we might have to let go on different types of levels because it's never just one thing. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So just coming into a receptive state. Okay. So I'm getting gratitude right away. Okay. So what's coming up here is um, that sometimes we have to build our self-esteem, our self-worth up within ourselves. When we're looking for external people to say, yay, you're doing a good job, that sort of thing, then, then we're looking for external validation instead of feeling that way about ourselves. And there's always a mirror here as well when I'm helping other people, by the way, I'm always doing the download on myself first and then you, just so you know. So I'm getting healing as well. Um, otherwise, sometimes it's like, well, who are you to say these things? Look at you, that sort of thing. Not that we want to be that way, but I just want to let you know I'm always receiving it first and then you. Um, so what comes up is like to give yourself more credit and be more proud of yourself. Again, because if we're not raising our own vibration, we can't wait for other people to give, yeah, just to do that for us, okay? So we have to do it first for ourselves, and then other people are going to be more attracted to to that. So say you, um, you wore a nice outfit and you did your makeup and you did your hair. And we'll just say the husband um, 
doesn't notice. And you're kind of like, I spent all this time getting ready. So he would like think that I'm pretty or notice me. And he didn't even notice. He didn't even say you look nice today. Ugh, I'm so mad. We'll just say. But the key thing is if you're doing, and this comes up in career as well. Say, um, so these are what happens to me is I'll get, I'll actually through clear audience. When I ask for the download, I'll hear I'll hear a message, okay? So that's how I relay it, just to explain it. And the message that I got is, thank you so much, thank you so much, your gold, like, appreciation, that sort of thing. So I was, like, hearing these these words as if it's, like, Anne speaking. And that's how I know that she's grateful. But the I feel like the issue is, so that's where I have to kind of um, break and decode it. And also it's good to get that dialogue back with her if this makes sense, because then I can kind of know that it, it is like relating. Um, but either way, I, I trust that I'm feeling confident in my skills that I don't need her validation, but it is helpful for her to kind of, for us to reassess. So um, again, so it's about if you do something for you, it's way better. So say I'm, I'm doing, because this relates to me as well. I have someone at the house. Okay. Um, so... I find, um, for me, when I write, um, yes, exactly true, Anne says. Okay, perfect. So when I write for myself, as if not for an audience, it's personal, it's completely different, probably, than when I'm writing for an audience. We start to filter. We start to think about our spelling. We get into our head. So that's what this energy is saying. Do things for you not for someone else. So again, if you're looking for external validation, I know this is going to relate to other people. So would you like to clear and release the energy of feeling like you're doing things for others, maybe first, or you're just doing things for others and not necessarily for the right reasons, which is essentially to please yourself, to make yourself happy. Okay. So the reasoning has, does have to be that you want to do these things, that you want to feel good because because it's about confidence and being pure and being sincere and honest and and um, being in our true self, which is throat and heart, okay? So that we can feel calm, balanced, and relaxed in all of our relationships with our relationship with ourselves as well. And let's replace that energy with trusting that you can handle the obstacles that are coming your way. And if so, say yes. Taking a big, deep breath. So you might even want to see roots coming from your feet, just coming into that grounding space. Okay. And then the message that I get is, I need more clarity. I need more clarity. And whenever we use the word need, again, the feeling of needing something is coming from a place of lack. So that's actually root chakra energy. So it's saying that I don't already have. So lack, need, these are all things. So what we want to do is start affirming things that we already have, right? So I just feel like moving forward, I'm just going to um, integrate that energy for everyone. So at the, at the end of the session, after we do all the healing downloads, then we integrate it, meaning the things that you said you wanted to release, we're going to start, it's going to, the energy is going to start moving that way if you want it to. And then we replace it with positive energy. So then you have to be aware that these downloads are going to then start shifting energy in your life. And that's up to you to, to become aware that that's related to the theta healing. Okay. And that's where it gets a little confusing because you have to go out and, and live as well and remind yourself, oh yeah, no, I really said I want this. Therefore, when these changes are coming in, um, it's, um, it makes it easier, right? Because you, we want change. It's just a little uncomfortable and that's a big part of fear. So I'm also feeling energy in my stomach as well. Um, so I would also recommend, aside from doing positive affirmations, um, I would also drink like nice, warm, soothing teas or anything like warm water, but anything on the warmer side, nothing too harsh for your body. And I'm also selling teas on Robin's Healing Herb. So um, even if I don't have those posted and you'd like some teas, just let me know so I can make some specifically for your energy. So we're going to integrate. All you have to do is say yes to the integration. So I'm going to go into prayer.
Good. And so it, it it's really important, I think, when you're picking people to work with, as I was already saying, um, if you're questioning who you want to work with, trust that as well. Um, if you're not really sure, that's okay. You're allowed to um, you're allowed to question things, right? It's okay to ask me questions as well. Like you want to know who I took my certification with, how a session's going to go. Also on robinsealing.com, book a three-minute um, free consult with me, whether it's related to herbs or my sessions or my programs or my retreat coming up on August 15th. So the retreat's only $33. You get a free gift from Robin's Healing Herbs, and it's going to be for four hours and um, over Zoom. Can't wait for that. So I love you guys. Again, you have questions. I'll be coming on more to explain Theta Healing because that's just one little piece of the pie. So be sure to share this out with your friends, and thanks so much for taking the time to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribing to my YouTube. Bye for now. God bless. Bye, guys.